हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल अकेडमी ऑफ इंटरनल ऑडिट सो एज यू नो वी आर प्रिपेयरिंग ए सीरीज कॉल्ड मीट रिसेंटली क्वालिफाइड सो टूडे वी हैव विद अस तुषार सकोरे सी एफ ई तुषार फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मेनी मेनी कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू यू ऑन बिकमिंग सर्टिफाइड फ्रॉड एग्जामिनर राइट सो जस्ट टू इंट्रोड्यूस तुषार इज बेसिकली फ्रॉम पुणे महाराष्ट्र इन इंडिया वर्किंग वी एज ए फाइनेंस मैनेजर एट सोमिका at the lubumbashi democratic republic of congo he has been working there for now for more than 4 years and by qualification tushar is chartered accountant and now globally certified fraud examiner as well so tushar first of all we just want to understand how was your journey to become cfe okay so first i like i am not aware of the cfe course uh, earlier but now just one year before i came to know there was some uh, certification on fraud examination i first started with the i registered then i received the cfe manual and it's almost 2000 plus pages so i thought how i, I can cover this much pages while working at, uh, on the same time in the office then i uh, then plan let's go for the uh, the classes then i get a admission in your your classes and then i receive the notes i follow the strategy like first complete the classes of first subject practice the questions and then schedule the exam okay then after schedule after scheduling the exam again i i read uh, the notes one time uh, once then again solve the question uh, before the exam day in two days i revising everything so in that way i uh three times at least i revise everything in that way i study uh, this is my study strategy that's it that's lovely it. lovely very nice to share any mistake you done and you would like to share with your fellow colleague from my side i did only one mistake that i started one year, i registered for one year back then but i appear almost at the end of expiry of my uh, registration <laughs> that is the only thing because once you register i thought maybe everyone can plan and just go for it instead of just waiting for the time to come okay okay right so you mean to say that you applied one year back and at the at the near to the expiry of your validity you sit and you sat into the exam right <laughs> though in my thing the there hurry that time maybe like how i have to finish this 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 topic this topic this topic so maybe you are some people will manage some people not able to manage so that is the only thing so plan your studies properly absolutely one more thing i would like to touch upon here is that there is a misconception that uh, sometime we feel that once we register into the exam our 60 days window will start it's not the case your 60 days window will start once you click on the button called schedule my exam right so the moment you click that green button your 60 days will start from that period otherwise you are in the safer zone you can sit into the exam for next 2 years the validity of cfe registration is 2 years very nice so tushar very nice you have really shared very good thought so, uh, right so sir thank you so much for uh, joining and sharing your thoughts if you would like to add anything else any closing message you would like to give to the uh, your fellow cfes so uh, during the exam time it's like when you schedule your exam and just uh, appearing for the exam so just make sure that all your system requirements are met and uh, just starting the uh, exam just read the do's and don'ts then after starting the exam uh, you might feel that some questions are tricky or some questions with the option are confusing so mark it as a flag and again come back to the that question at the end of the uh, uh, exam exam because you have you get 120 uh, enough time 120 minutes so that is i think enough time because i used to solve all question 100 question in eight, on an average 80 to 90 minutes so okay. i get almost so 30 minutes so again i am going to the flag question where i i thought maybe it's not correct answer or i'm not able to answer so i give the uh, time to that question again so make sure the, uh, to making sure that the i am answering the correct uh, correct questions and in cfe like other uh, sub objective type of question in other courses or other cfe it's not in cfe not like that because you can clearly uh, able to understand which option we have to eliminate or which option is correct they are not giving the the similar type of options 
uh, yeah. for the question. So this is the good thing in <laughs> for the CFA exam uh, exam. I like that they are not confusing lot uh, to the students. And you the... mentioned in the other courses, like in the even in the case of certified internal auditors, the questions are very much confusing. You will be you will be finding all of the four answers as near to the correct only, right? The, and at that point of time, you have to use the elimination method only, and then you will be able to reach to the final one. While in the CFE exam, if your concepts are clear, if your concepts are clear, you've studied properly, you will not be facing any such challenge. Yes, right. right. Very nice. Thank you so much for sparing your valuable time. And we, Academy of Internal Audit uh, team, are proud to have you as the part of AIA family and wish you all the very best of luck for your career thank you so much sir for your guidance and your your everything like your team also uh, good i had a good uh, communication with them that whenever i contact them they are always uh, replying on time and assist that's okay yes like, thank you